Hello friends, in this video I am going to deal with a secret topic in research and this is going to be a controversial topic also. I am dealing with this topic just for your awareness, for educational purpose only. According to your legal situations, you need to follow your country's law. So before going to the secret, I want you to understand about the process of research. In process of research, wherein the authors write the paper, send it to the publishers who owns the journals and after publishing the journals, they give the institutional access if they pay the money and these institutions give access of reading to the individual authors. So that is the usual research process. Before 1990, this was in position for every research process. Then during the end of 1980s and the beginning of 1990s, the open access system came into play. In order to maintain this journal, the publishers charge a minimal amount to maintain the journal and when they submit it, they collect the, it as publication charge. And these journals can be openly accessed by anyone in the scientific society and they can access it freely. This model was called as open access model. Even though this model eliminated the need of lots of money paid by the institutions and if the individuals want to access directly also they need to pay a large amount of money so this was abolished with the open access system but the problem with this open access system is later the predatory journals appeared where they displayed false credentials and collected many articles so this is about open and closed access system so you need to understand before going to the piracy of the articles so how an article can be pirated is these are all the publishers so when the authors submit, they will not pay any publication fee. Instead of institutions paying the money, there are some piracy sites which takes the articles from the publishers, infringing the copyright law and distribute it to the other authors. The leader in this piracy work is Skyhub. So let us see about the Skyhub usage around the world. So these are all based on the downloads which is happening around the globe. So this is the Skyhub usage. As per the 2018 data, nearly there are 7 lakh articles downloaded per day. Skyhub has a database of nearly 95% of all scientific articles that is about 9 crore articles the mastermind behind the sky hub is alexandra elbakin she is called as a robin hood of research so she has taken the access of high cost research to the poor people who are doing research so many people have nominated her for prestigious awards in research some have mentioned that she should also receive nobel prize also and some research scholars honored her with naming the species which they discovered in her name so there has been four species which has been named in order to thank alexandra elbakin the founder of Skyhub who made the high cost research accessible to the poor. She successfully conducted Skyhub for 11 years. After legal notices, this do domain kept on changing. So I am going to show how to use this Skyhub and this is for educational purpose only and you have to obey the law according to the country where you are staying. So now I am going to sh show this. So if you type Skyhub Chrome domains, it will take to the recent Skyhub domains. So this is available here. So you can access at skyhub.org, skyhub.za libgen.tw skyhub.do are available there are some other backup servers also which you can access and there are google chrome extensions available there are skyhub master and skyhub this is the skyhub master with the crow flying and this is the skyhub searcher this is how the skyhub looks like this is the database it is available in english chinese russian and portuguese languages so currently there are about 9 crore articles available 95% of the DOI that is digital object identifier articles are available in this platform. Everybody can freely download this and the amount which uh, they are getting as the donations will be used for legal fights. Currently .se is the domain which is used. So if we type any DOI or PMID or URL then you will get the access. For example this article is a paid one. So if I am copying this link and pasting it in Skyhub then automatically this article will open and remember skyhub is only for the journals not available for books so then how to use this chrome extensions so you have skyhub searcher and skyhub master so skyhub searcher if you click you need not bother about the domains if the domain is blocked you need not bother if you click on this automatically it will take you to the skyhub domain which is currently active so that is the purpose of this skyhub searcher and you have skyhub master extension so when you open this article and you find that this free article version is not available if uh, this download if we click on the download it will ask for payment so what we can do here is if we click on this if we click on this uh, skyhub master 
then automatically it will take to the page where you can readily download the article that is the use of uh, skyhub when you need desperately article you can try this mode follow the legal restrictions also and copyright infringement also should not be there there are always mixed opinions about the functioning of this skyhub but it has crossed successfully 11 years with the legal fight hopefully we wish that skyhub also successfully come out of this legal fight and the vision of making the access to the poor researchers should continue legally in a bigger way we wish that should happen soon and the publishers also should come to a agreement or a solution for this problem thanks for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe if you like this video please click on the like button thanks again